Yo, I'm Mnemonic. Do you see this black box over here? That's my audio interface, which is something you can use with BandLab. I'm gonna show you how to do that so you can make more music. Now there's all different types of audio interfaces, but the main thing they do is connect the analog world with the digital world so we can record signals coming in and then monitor signals out. When you first plug your audio interface into BandLab, you should receive a notification on the screen. Okay, awesome. Once BandLab recognizes what your audio interface is, you can go ahead and assign the input channel for it to record into. Do that by clicking source at the bottom left and then choosing the appropriate channel. More than likely, you'll be using headphones or speakers directly connected to the audio interface to hear what it is that you're recording. If you want to hear it through the software, you can click monitoring, and what that's going to do is process the input, apply any effects you have, and then you can hear it. Note, there may be some latency when you do that. Now let's check out multi-track recording. If your audio interface can handle it, and you want to record multiple tracks at once, BandLab has got you covered with multi-track recording. Let's say, for example, you have a guitar and a microphone, and you want to record that as a single performance. All you need to do is on the track that you want, either right click or click the three dots and click enable multi-track recording. A little red dot is going to pop up and then for any additional tracks that you want to enable, you just click their respective red dot. And then my friend, you are ready to record. To disable it, either right click or click on the three dots and then click disable multi-track recording. By default, multi-track recording is disabled and BandLab will record into whatever track you have selected. Awesome. Now let's check out using an audio interface with the BandLab mobile app. All right, check it out. Once again, the good people at BandLab have kept this very simple. For this example, I'll be using a USB microphone because there's an audio interface built into it. I could be using a full-fledged audio interface, but this is just a little bit more mobile friendly. And if you're shopping for audio interfaces, especially ones that are small, easy to use, and mobile, you can check out the BandLab Link audio interfaces. I'll put a link in the description. Now, when you connect your audio interface, you may not receive a notification. At least I don't. So the way to test the connection is by tapping the gear up at the top to access the settings, scroll all the way down, and then make sure audio input channels is set to one, because with this example, we have one channel coming in, before you turn on monitoring, which is the way you hear the signal coming in through the microphone, make sure you plug in some headphones. At least this works for me because I have a phone that has a headphone output. If you have a newer phone and this doesn't work for you, you may need to get an interface that has a dedicated headphone output that you can plug into. Once again, you can check out the BandLab Link interfaces. All right, once you're set up with your headphones, microphone, and or audio interface, you can go ahead and turn monitoring on right now. And then this is a good time to perform another latency test because we added a new device into our setup. You want to make sure that the microphone can hear the sounds coming out of the headphones, those laser beam sounds. If you haven't seen my latency video, check that out. Then once that's done, jump back into the mix editor and you're ready to make some music. All right, there you have it. Hit that like button below if this video helped you. Comment any suggestions or questions you have. Subscribe for more Ben Lab tutorials and music making fun that I have planned in the future. Now, it's up to you. Go make more music. If you are watching this before the end of January 2020, there may still be time to enter my giveaway. BandLab has teamed up with me, which I'm extremely grateful for, to help you make more music. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I'm giving away five audio interfaces, one link digital, two link digital duos, the two channel, and then two link analog minis. They're all great audio interfaces, whether you're just getting started or a seasoned music maker, the link is in the description.